mean, I'm still out there and I still appreciate music and I think it matters and I appreciate effort going into things and I appreciate being challenged by music and art. And I know I'm not the only person out there that feels that way. And I would, I would hope that, um, I would hope that the climate becomes a little more um, friendly or fertile for artists that aren't trying to sound like everybody else to exist. Because it is very difficult now. One thing I quickly discovered when I started working with Nine Inch Nails is whenever we'd try to give projects that we needed done out to outside people to work on, the results were always off somehow. They didn't they didn't quite get what we were trying to do and what we were trying to get across and we found that people collaborating with us who aren't really down here and working right with the band and getting right in Trent's head, the results aren't it's hard to explain to them where we're coming because it's usually not exactly tour in America where it all kind of gelled together and at that point I thought it'd be nice to have some kind of um, document of this this tour, this amount of work we put into it, not just because we put a lot of work into it, but because it was it was good and I guess the fleeting thing about a tour is when it's when it's over, it's over. And it's, it only exists in the memory of the people who got to see it. And I really just wanted to have some kind of validation of this. I guess I'm looking for Probably personal validation, you know, as an artist, I need to have some thing to show what I've done. I mean, maybe for my own head. I mean, yeah. So uh, we decided it would make sense to film this thing, I'll film it and record it and and document it. And then the next logical thing to consider then was the right way to do that. And we didn't need a very, we didn't need a, a filmmaker to come in and put his stamp on this thing because the. It existed as a piece of art by itself. It was already was good. So. Just stripping it down to the bare bones, very skeletal approach to re-recording some older material off of the early records and also doing new material. And that started to become more and more exciting. It feels more cohesive. It feels like a performance. And what's satisfying is when people watch this and say, where was this filmed? And that's when I think, okay, I did something right, because they're not realizing that every single shot is a different city and a different take. And the real challenge was, how do we make this feel like one performance? We're not trying to trick you. We're not trying to say, oh, this was one night, because it's not, it's the whole tour, and we're proud of that. But at the same time, in order for you to accept it and get into the experience. And, um it wasn't until this incarnation of the band that I really felt I had the right personnel that could visualize that, that really could make it their own and breathe new life into songs. I mean, it's always exciting for me when I hear a song that's been my little child and I've nurtured and I've turned into this thing that um, is precious to me and, and agonized over. And really with my technician and trying to figure out ways of, of going about it recreating the sounds and also performances that are on record and um, Trent's a really good drummer in his head sometimes but he doesn't really take into account that these things have to be played and uh, so we didn't want to rely on okay well it's like, yeah, it's kind of wimpy and it's the same songs live are just so heavy and cool or whatever and I think it's just a lot of the older stuff especially just has a much darker and cool vibe than the albums do. Not necessarily cool, or just different. Working with some artists, whatever. Well, I think that uh, we aren't difficult. To, to a record company, to maybe a video company, we, we are difficult. And the reason for that is we know what we want. We want perfection. And record company...
lot of effort went into the presentation of the show and we were never a band that would just get up and call out sets on the fly or song lists on the fly. And I think the reason for that is I always looked at the show as kind of a, almost like a play with you know several acts and different moods and development and things get revealed over the course of the show. And that rarely would happen if it was a haphazard kind of performance. And that doesn't mean that there's not spontaneity within the confines of that set, but that means there is a, there's a script to follow. And that script usually has the best emotional impact. And, um, then when you add to it, it's, it's, if you've been out for 10 or so years and you've got several albums to choose from or pull songs from, and they sound, the albums sound radically different um, from beginning to the end of career, or to the current state of career. Um, to see them all cohesively presented um, without almost an equal amount of songs from all throughout our career. Um, what will it be in the future? I don't know. I don't know. And, and, and quite frankly, that's not up to me. That's up to one person, and it's Trent Reznor. Um, however, I do know it will be interesting, it will be exciting, and it'll be something that I want to be involved with.